everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi, here I am in my classic horizontal planner that I use as a journal over there. And this week in my horizontal, I will be using the newest stickers from the Disney Be Happy box. Were you guys able to snag one? Because these are, I love the stickers. Just if I were to buy anything from the whole thing, it, like I love, love, love the stickers. <laughs> All right, let's get started. All right, so make sure that there's nothing on my chair because before this video I sat down and sat on my camera which is on my chair lovely now the thing with this particular one is there aren't a lot of I don't have quotes and you guys know how much I love my quotes so I'm gonna be pulling in colorful boxes here and seeing where I can put those now this is going to be a basically just florals and Mickey and Minnie spread I do not have a problem with that whatsoever. So let's put this down on the 14th. And June 14th is my five year wedding anniversary. That's not true, 13 year, <laughs> wow. 13 year anniversary, Oops. gosh. Yeah, my husband would be like, what are you doing? 13 years but yes we've been married for 13 years um don't know if you guys really want to hear our little love story of how we met but um we met while I was in England on a working holiday we worked for the same company and we met at the Christmas party and I love these quotes and um well the night that we met I got way too drunk like inebriated to the point where I ended up falling asleep on my train home because this was in London England I was doing yeah working holiday in London England and I fell asleep on the train I was getting on my train at King's Cross and I was supposed to get off two stops later I did not I ended up falling asleep and waking up in a town called Stevenage which was so far outside of London and I had to pay for an 80 pound cab ride back into the city so I always tease my husband and say the night that I met you was the first time I ever went to Stevenage um, yeah we, we met that night and we didn't actually obviously get together right away we um, we didn't really get together until maybe about a few months later. But we did do long distance for the first two and a half years um, that we were together. And a year and a half of that we were married. So, okay. I want to use one of these. I'm having a hard time trying to do a plan with me while telling you my, <laughs> my story. I can't seem to do both at the same time. I want to use yellow but yes yeah, so my husband and I did do long distance for a good two and a half years of our relationship and I'm gonna put it like this and while it was tough I think it really forced us to um, I won't say force but it really did push us to really figure out what we wanted from the very beginning of our uh, relationship. So this washi is from, I feel like it's a very another rainbow <laughs> type of thing and I'm adding a lot of color into this spread but I feel like this washi works with it. Okay, I'm going back and forth between the story of how we met and anyway. Um, but yeah, so we were doing long distance for the first few years of our uh, relationship and then I moved to England once I finished up my master's degree here in Canada and then we lived there for about five years and that's where we had both of our kids. And then we moved back to Canada the beginning of, or in like February of 2015, so Henry was only 
I wish I kind of had used these now. Henry was only about two and a half months old when we flew from England to here. So can you imagine? I had a three and a half year old and a two and a half month old uh, infant. And thankfully my mom came to England at that time and helped me move over. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is actually turning out really cute considering how much talking I'm doing and not really fully paying attention to what the heck I'm doing. Um, okay. I do, before I do anything else though, I do want to find a good quote for in here. I feel like this is the time where I could really use this big <laughs> Mickey Mouse sticker and still have room. Ah! To journal. Be a good human, I think, is a good one. Are those the only quotes? Get out of your own way. You can. I'm gonna put down the be a good. I can't even talk right now. Be a good human. Holy. I think it's because I've been trying to do a new style of plan with me this week and like my, um, I say new style, but new, I'll put this here, and just a new style of filming. Like how did you guys like the new intro? That took me all of Saturday morning to do, all of Saturday morning to figure out and I'm so glad that I did because it, I'm so happy with that intro. Then put this here with a peach box, just like this. That's where we're gonna add a little bit of this washi. There we go. But yeah, in the whole time that my husband and I have been together, we have lived in England, and we have lived here. We've lived apart. We've had two kids and now we have our puppy. So it's just very happy. 14, four, gosh, I don't even know anymore. 13 years of marriage. 13, 13, 13, 13. It's 13, Karina. 13. Oh my goodness, what is the matter with me? But anyway, did you guys like the new way that I did the introduction and I'm gonna add a little Mickey Mouse here. Oh my god, cute. And just add a little Mickey here. Kind of almost hidden. I actually really really like this short and sweet plan with me in my journal. Now I don't normally show you guys what my journal looks like or how I write in my journal. Um, but what I think I might do is just give you a little glimpse into how I journal every night. So this is what it looks like beforehand and then I'll show you guys my kind of journaling routine every night before I go to bed. It's now Monday night and I'm sitting down with my yogurt protein and the first thing I do is fill in what I'm grateful for in the monthly spread. Yes, Adrian, it was our coffee date. And then I flip to the actual page and then I go ahead and just start writing so you guys can see all of my filled pages. And then I just go ahead and start writing about my day. So this could be, you know, just a synopsis of my day, what happened, um, how I felt. It really depends on how the day went. For me, I like being able to look back and see the actual events of the day, even though they could be a little bit repetitive, but I do like being able to see our routine and how that changes over the years, but also kind of go into how I felt about everything. But that is it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this type of video, please let me know. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments below. Thank you guys so much and have yourselves a great day.